Welcome to day 18. Self-treatment and exercise for back pain. I'm Naomi Bingham Pound. Let's go into sitting again today with a cushion or a pillow or sitting on the floor if that's comfortable to you or on your bed. Perhaps even a chair. So let's start with some breathing. Breathing in and then a big breath out. Taking a little scan of your body, softening your face, softening your shoulders, letting go of your chest, of your hands, and your stomach, and your pelvis, and your thighs, and your feet, and your shins. And softening your eyes, or perhaps closing them, if that feels right. Today we're going to talk about pain and calling it perhaps a sensation instead and understanding the difference there. So pain has a memory in our body, it has a history and it has an emotion. At some stage in your life you've been through pain, most likely, perhaps not, and that is remembered in your mind with a memory and the mind is always trying to to find understanding so it's drawing on past experiences but in that process there's memory and there's history and there's also emotions that come up with it and for the right situation perhaps that's not helping us move forward and it's more freeing name is to call it a sensation and that doesn't have a memory associated with it and it frees us up to be open to learning about ourselves in this moment so just experiment with that if it feels right to you of saying in your mind sensation sensation or describing your pain as a sensation Coming back into yourself, setting a goal, setting an intention about today, about this moment, about your back. Feeling sensations in your body, finding the exact location, the precise quality, connecting the body and the mind, and connecting those sensations. Reflecting on any feelings or emotions about your back. Worried, frightened, hurt, calm. What feels right for you today? Repeating that in your mind. And saying, in this moment, I feel worried about my back. grateful for this moment to spend on caring for my back. Saying that in your mind. Coming to all fours, we're going to go through like we did yesterday and see if there's anything new to learn today. So onto all fours, hands underneath your shoulders, knees under your pelvis, and just lifting up into cat. Stretching, letting your head hang and your tailbone tuck under. And then in your own time, lowering down, swinging the tailbone towards the ceiling, stretching your chest forward, pressing into your hands to pull them towards your knees. And then pushing down into your hands and down into your knees and stretching your back. moving in your own pace any feelings that come up in your body practicing calling that a sensation softening your face letting go of your shoulders and thighs letting go of your back arching and lowering and lifting 
lifting your spine at the speed that feels right to you. Then coming into sitting with your right knee crossed in front of you and your left shin crossed to your left side. And again, please reach for a pillow if that doesn't feel comfortable for you. Bringing your right hand down on the floor and reaching your left hand up and then arching over to the side. Arching over towards your right hand. Breathing in, lifting, bringing your left hand to your left shin, reaching your right hand and side bending over. Softening your thighs, softening your glutes, and softening your shoulders. Perhaps experimenting on what position feels good for you. And how does it change if I if you do add a cushion or if you don't? What does your body tell you? What sensations come up for you? Switching sides, left leg crossed in front of you, right shin down your right side. Bringing your left hand onto the floor, reaching your right hand up, bending your left hand, reaching over, coming up, connecting your shin, lifting your left hand and stretching over. No one's in perfect balance, we're all just approaching that balance and sometimes we tip one way, sometimes we tip the other way. And you might find that sometimes the right side is tighter and sometimes the left side is tighter. That's normal for humans, normal for, for us. We just keep working on finding balance, approaching that midway position. So next we're going to go into standing. And work on forward bends and back bends. And always feel free to make this your own and if you're more comfortable on the mat, continue with that, feel free to. Working on getting some functional movement back in our body. I'm going to roll down, again just letting your body roll, finding the movement that's right for you and again today just moving a little quicker if that is available to you, bending back and rolling forward, supporting yourself however it feels right, softening your feet, You're really feeling the connection of the feet to the floor. Letting go on your thighs and in your glutes. Perhaps taking a moment's pause and breathing into any sensations you feel. And then letting that out. And returning to moving. Letting go on your face, letting go on your shoulders. Naming any feelings, sensations, any tension, any tightness, any pain, sensation, sensation, sensation. And see if anything shifts or changes. If or when it's ready. feel complete coming back into standing hip distance apart hands by your side looking for a dignified yet soft position posture taking a moment to say I'm grateful for this time to spend on making myself important and caring for reflecting on the idea of calling it a sensation. You 
congratulations on completing day 18 of self-treatment and exercise for back pain. Set your mind and focus one moment, 10 minutes, one day at a time. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow and have a sensational day.